so why is this so important because um evolution is ensuring that everything should take place in a way that um, attachment develops uh, between an unborn child and its mother uh, studies have shown that um, you know uh, obviously like for example mother's tastes mother's uh, preference in music everything gets transferred to a child in utero so children are experiencing um, taste through what she eats they're experiencing voices through the voices she hears they are experiencing uh, baby they are experiencing the world through the womb of the mother so if you are in a culture culture where you have spicy food the child is most likely going to be born with similar taste preferences and um language is something that is a very big part of um social communication it's a very big part of uh, attachment and we know from studies now that uh, even uh, babies born instantly after birth show preference um, to sounds from a language they've heard in utero uh, their mother speaking and um, you know the mother's voice sounds very different to the baby in 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 utero than other voices so the reason why they they develop a uh, you know preference for the mother's voice is because um, the, res- the 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 pitch and the resonance internally when when the baby hears it internally from inside the mother's body is very different than the way for example if the father is talking to the belly so uh, the way the, the the sound trans transfers from through um, the stomach directly to the baby versus while inside through the vocal cords and through the through the mother's body is very different and um these sort of processes have been studied and they have shown to affect um the the baby's preference for the mother everything that the mother um does says um experiences during her pregnancy it affects the way the child will be um uh, eventually when when it is born and this is evolution's way to ensure that the baby stays close to the mother and vice versa that the mother has this uh, urge to keep her baby close to her um to give the baby the best chance of survival so this is evolution's way of making sure that mother and child stay together and stay bonded and stay in love with each other to ensure that um the child is given proper care and is able to survive so this is actually evolution's way of making sure that we look after our children and we we in a, in 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 way of looking after our children we help our our species to evolve and to keep growing so attachment is actually a function not just of uh, it's not just a social function of a society if you think about it it's also a biological function it's also a function of our species to ensure our survival like i said um, many studies have shown that a fetus already recognizes his or her mother's voice while they are in the womb um uh, recognizes uh, even 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 languages like i said tastes um, music that the mother listens to everything and babies only minutes after birth have shown that uh, they automatically show a preference for their mo- own mother's smell the smell of her breast milk and the sound of her voice and the way this was done was that babies just minutes after birth were given cloth um, that was being used uh, uh, by their own mother and other mothers in the hospital um, and breast milk was expressed onto these cloths and newborn babies minutes old actually turned their face and 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 started to suck when when they were given the cloth with their own mother's breast milk and their response was not the same um to other mothers uh clothes with breast milk on it so um it's it's quite fascinating if you think about it that um babies who have never experienced who have never tasted who have never smelled uh, their own mother and their own mother's breast milk how is it possible that just minutes after birth they automatically know the smell of their own mother and her her breast milk and this is uh, again like i said um nature's way of making sure that attachment actually starts and and starts as not just a social and emotional function but as a biological function through the these little little things like smell voice you know um touch um then comes the next part of of after the pregnancy immediately after the birth and um one of the most primal instincts that uh, we as part of nature and as animals have is to breastfeed 
uh, both from a baby's point of view as well as a mother's point of view. And the very act of breastfeeding ensures long-term bonding via hormonal roots. The way this happens is that when we breastfeed, uh, both the mother's body and the infant's body releases huge amounts of uh, the love hormone called oxytocin. And um, some experts believe that the, the release of oxytocin at that particular point of breastfeeding is so strong that the effect can last a lifetime in your brain and thus ensuring that you have a lifelong love for your child even years when later when they are teenagers um, it apparently the 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 effect of the oxytocin from breastfeeding can remain right up until the time that your children are adults so this is this is basically again nature's way of making sure that we look after our children and we 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 raise them to the point that they can look after themselves thus ensuring the survival of our species so um, breastfeeding as an act is beneficial for the attachment process both from the mother's side and also from the infant's side um this is a controversial topic, obviously, because uh, new generation mothers are working nowadays and there is less opportunity for breastfeeding. They have to get back to work. They're formula feeding, bottle feeding. And, um, you know, a lot of mothers are not able to sleep with their children. They're not able to breastfeed at night. Uh, so this is a lot of, lot of controversy surrounding this topic because mothers are getting uh, very pressurized to breastfeed when they're not able to because they have to get back to work or they have other things to do and um, there's been a lot of debate about how um, the pressure of breastfeeding is too much for women in today's day and age but that all aside all the generational problems aside and all the societal problems aside if you just look at evolution and nature and the way it's been designed the long-term effects of breastfeeding on attachment are very evident study after study has shown that uh, there is a difference in the attachment of babies who have been breastfed even for a short while versus babies who have not been breastfed at all. And you cannot ignore the results of these studies because studies repeatedly have shown that even a small time frame of breastfeeding does uh, strongly affect attachment eventually versus bottle feeding or giving other foods. Mm -hmm.